A wonderful good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you here at the technical forum at the group exhibit Hydrogen, Fuel Cells and Batteries. This year at the Hanover Fairground in the year of 2015. I'd like to say hello to our online guests. We are live streaming with over a thousand clicks right now. I'd also like to enjoy, uh, invite you to have a seat and have a drink. There's a lovely lady walking around serving you with complimentary drinks. Every 15 minutes, we'll hear interesting presentations regarding the hydrogen industry. The next topic will be the hydrolysis as a hydrogen source for H2 on-demand solutions. And for that, please welcome with me on stage scientists from the Fraunhofer Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Materials, Mr. Markus Tegel. Big hands, please. Thank you very much for the very kind introduction. In my presentation, I will tell you about the hydrolysis of magnesium hydride based materials. You just react them with water to produce hydrogen and what you can see in this picture actually are hydrogen bubbles just coming up and you can imagine the magnesium hydride is a material just for example like fizzy tablets. We also develop uh, fizzy pastes based on magnesium hydride which I will uh, show you later on. The main advantage of producing hydrogen of the hydrolysis of magnesium hydride is the extremely high energy density uh, which is stored in these materials. So for example, if you compare magnesium hydride with other high energy materials, just like methanol or even diesel, you get much higher energy densities, electrical energy, energy densities, so these chart um, just con uh, uh, includes all conversion losses. So you have energy densities of up to 2.3 kilowatt hours per kilogram magnesium hydride or even up to 2.9 kilowatt hours per liter uh, magnesium hydride. What is the working principle of producing hydrogen in such way? If you react magnesium hydride with water you get large amounts of hydrogen. And the reaction mechanism is just, you react a hydride, which gets a proton from the water to form hydrogen. And you can see the big advantage of this reaction because actually half of the produced hydrogen comes from the water, which e uh, efficiently doubles your hydrogen capacity of the magnesium hydride. The only reaction product is non-toxic, degradable magnesium hydroxide. In a second step, after generating the hydrogen, you convert this hydrogen in a fuel cell to electricity. What are possible applications for hydrogen produced in such ways? We think there are two main target applications uh, for this kind of hydrogen production. Firstly, backup power solutions like UPSs, for example, also other emergency power systems for critical infrastructure like data centers, uh, telco providers, for example, also the control systems of power stations, uh, or for example, in the case of uh, disaster recovery, just like the fuel cells which have been successfully, successfully employed during Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. So basically, everywhere where you uh, need high system availability, high reliability and low annual costs, because you can store this magnesium hydride based material for very long times. A second application scenario is all kinds of portable and mobile generators, like for example electric drives, like for example for this lawnmower, um, for electric bicyc bicycles, also for flying drones for example, or uh, robotics. Basically everywhere where normal batteries like lithium ion batteries are just not enough energy density. Also, emergency rescue and response systems, um, 
because you can store these materials for years, even decades, without degradation, without, without self-discharge. Of course, you could also think of uh, charges for portable electronic devices and uh, camping and outdoor equipment, for example, uh, yacht generators, so generators in the range like uh, a couple of tens of watts uh, up to a couple of hundreds of watts. So basically where you need uh, uh, applications where you need high energy densities, ease of use and uh, emission and noise free electricity generation. In the past time there have been a couple of other hydrolysis uh, materials available and been in discussion. For example, very well known is sodium borohydride, for example, and more rec recently also sodium silicide as um, hydrogen production sources for hydrolysis. And we did a technolo to technology comparison um, and were estimating the economic potential and also the technology readiness of these different kinds of materials. And magnesium hydride, in our opinion, has one of the highest uh, economic potential, basically because it's cheap and it's also non-toxic, for example, it can be easily handled. And meanwhile, the hydrolysis of magnesium hydride also has a relatively high technology readiness level. And this has been achieved by our development, by our R&D process, which I will show you in a few seconds. So the main advantages um, of producing hydrogen by hydrolysis of magnesium hydride is because firstly, in comparison to the other materials I've shown you, but also to methanol, magnesium hydride is a non-toxic material and also all um, additional materials we use and all hydrolysis products are non-toxic as well. Just unlike, for example, sodium borohydride and methanol. Secondly, you don't need any reformers or special fuel cells like direct methanol fuel cells because you generate hydrogen with it. Um, and of course, uh, in that way, you don't have any emissions apart from water, obviously. Thirdly, um, it's possible uh, to maintain the reaction at very low pressures, so you can adjust to any pressure range you like, like maybe, for example, the input pressure of many fuel cells is five bars, so that's possible to directly generate five bars of hydrogen pressures, and you don't need any infrastructure uh, of compressed gas, which is um, costly to install, for example, and uh, you would also in most cases need to pay rent, for example, for hydrogen gas cylinders. Fourth advantage is the uh, ultra high energy densities, which I've discussed before, up to 2.3 kilowatt hours per kilogram, 2.9 kilowatt hours per liter, and that at reasonable costs. So the short term cost per kilowatt hour produced in such way is 12 euros which is of course more expensive than electricity uh, of grid, but for systems which are not running very often or where the, power, uh, the energy output per year, the annual energy output is limited, this is already today very competitive. And the long-term marginal costs can be even as low as four euros per kilowatt hour because magnesium hydride uh, is produced by hydriding magnesium, which is a very abundant element in the Earth's crust. So we have a good price performance ratio, even today. So what we've done at Fraunhofer IFAM to make this possible is, um, firstly, we made the reaction possible. As you can see here, if you buy commercial magnesium hydride, it won't react with water at all. So in this chart, you can see the hydrogen development, that's 100% hydrogen conversion or material conversion in 75 minutes of time, basically there happens nothing because uh, magnesium hydride forms hydroxide passivation layers uh, on top of the magnesium hydride. At Fraunhofer IFAM, 
by the addition of certain cheap metal salts, we were able to increase, dramatically increase the re re reaction speed uh, of these materials uh, with only tiny amounts of cheap and non-toxic salts. And now the magnesium hydride reacts readily even at isothermal conditions. So these charts are uh, the reaction at 20 centigrades, what of 20 centigrades. Of course, the reaction can be sped up, sped up much further uh, if the reaction is allowed to heat up. We have low production costs of these kinds of materials and long shelf lives of five to 10 years without any significant self-discharge. It's a patent pending technology with two patents, one German and one world patent. And this invention also has been awarded with the FCEL award uh, 2013 as a first place in the category science. So secondly, at uh, Fraunhofer IFAM, we were able to even further improve these magnesium hydride based materials by producing pastes of the magnesium hydride by adding so-called carboxylic esters. Es pastes of these materials are like liquids and therefore easy to pump and you could, can achieve an optimal dosing. So you just add as little paste as you need and as little water in a small reaction zone to dynamically produce as much hydrogen as you want. You can also uh, achieve an orientation independent reaction, which means your hydrogen production system can be turned upside down and it still works. These pastes are mechanically and chemically stable for years, so there's no degradation of these materials. And if the uh, fuel is spent, uh, the only products are non-toxic and completely biodegradable, so can be easily disposed. And because of uh, the reaction is allowed to, to heat up, it heats up by itself, as you will see in a second, you can achieve ultra-high reaction dynamics with 100% conversion in seconds even. This is also patent pending technology uh, with a filed patent last year. Here you can see the dynamical load profile which has been generated by uh, reacting a magnesium hydride based, based paste with water. This is only 10 grams of paste producing, in this case, 21 watt hours of electricity at an efficiency of 0.5. But easiest way to see this reaction is just uh, can be seen in this reaction vessel which contains such a magnesium hydride based paste which is this gray material and now in this video I'm going to show you just water is added and what is generated is a power output electrical power output um, if you include a conversion loss of up to 500 watts and just see by yourself Water is added currently. The video f is, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit jumpy. It's much, much smoother in reality, actually. So hydrogen begins to form and the reaction heats up by itself. It's much faster in real time. I'm, I'm sorry, this is so slow on this computer. So this is actually a process which happens just in seconds and hydrogen is already being formed and fully converted. Normally the video would, would be over by now and uh, uh, the power output of the hydrogen coming off from this very homogeneous reaction mixture is like 500 watts. So that's my presentation. If you want to see the reaction in real life, maybe at the real speed as well, not uh, slow down as in this video, um, you can have a look at the stand next to this technical forum, stand B44, or write me an email. Or if you have any questions, I'm happy to ask, uh, answer them now. Thank you very much. Thank you also from my side, and I'm sorry for the video. I'm sure it will uh, go very fast in the yes. reality. Um, we 
Also, the time has uh, flown by. I can take one question from the audience only. So please, if you have a question right now, be the first one to raise your hand so I can take your question. Okay, one question. Um, can I ask how far away from a completely working system this is? This looks very lab-based glassware and things. Have yes. Um, so this is glassware-based because it's easier to show, of course. Uh, this year we're de developing a 30-watt prototype system currently, and um, we are not that far from real application because the materials are really finished. They can go into production right now and can be used for real systems. So I think uh, probable time scales for bigger systems would be like two to three years. Thank you very much, and also thank you from my side, uh, the Technical Forum. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Markus Teger. That was a wonderful presentation. If you want more information, then please visit at B44 right around the corner. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next topic will be in only two minutes' time. We'll hear the making power from a hydrogen storage material from battery replacement to bulk power applications. And for that, we'll hear the project manager of Stellar Energy, Mr. Chris Hobbs, in only two minutes' time.